And we are back. Welcome to the Planet Nerds. I'm Chris Darth Pyron Walker, and this is episode two of the Nerdy Verse podcast. I am joined by a fun cavalcade of characters here. Why don't we bring their audio in to my wait, wait, no, my right, I guess, or left, or whichever way you're looking. I got John from Nerd Reactor. What's going on, John? How you doing today on this Friday afternoon? Good. He's eating as usual, folks. Uh, no change there. <laughs> <laughs> And to my other side, left, right, whichever side it is, I have the lovely, oh wait, Luffly, 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 Stefania, Steph, how you doing? I have in my head what a buffaloes and anal beads. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and that is not actually code for something, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Take that as literally. <laughs> <laughs> And oh, that, not, I'm doing peachy keys. So, <laughs> while we were transitioning, folks, and they were muted, we were all muted. Steph was uh, <laughs> throwing out random words because you guys couldn't hear her. So now she's got them in her know. head. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Spiky anal beads up my rectum. Butt plugs. Buffaloes. <laughs> Buffaloes. Water oh, buffalo. Some random shit. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and then next to Steph, we've got the ledge himself. Ledge. The king yes. of the king of America. <laughs> yeah. Uh, was it uh, Emperor of America? Emperor America. Of Mexico. That's right. That's right. Yeah. David March, the spy guy. How you doing new, today, David? With that nice fresh haircut. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Just uh, watching everyone react to the videos earlier, I thought it was a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's why we're here to entertain you because the legend himself made the largest donation so far, two hundred and fifty quid, which is like three hundred some dollars. So, dude, you are the man. Thank you so much for well, that. Is why he is five dollars of my money. So, yeah, thanks. <laughs> 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 and then and if you haven't done so already oh, yes. guys we've got links down below uh if you haven't already what are you doing in your life subscribe to the spy guy is links below uh also as well paul's link is below as well halogen mm. helix uh subscribe to them and john's as well oh, yeah, john. uh, but john's doing pretty well uh <laughs> john doesn't need yeah. our help uh, yeah i was gonna <laughs> say <laughs> <laughs> priorities uh, if you can understand, uh, but yeah, um, <laughs> I need more subscribers. Let's all do to be fair, but let's uh, let's let's get them up. Let's get them up to y'all level, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get us all, all up to John's together. level. That would be right. awesome. Yeah, mm. yeah, and then we can all rise together. Oh, and geez. don't forget to donate to the GoFundMe. Thank you, James, for sticking it in the chat. We oh, are yes. here, at literally for hashtag for the children. Uh, we are for supporting the children. For the children. <laughs> we are supporting the FMF and Global. Uh, sorry, the FMF and AID Global Association. That's familial Mediterranean fever, the condition that the rare disease that I deal with on a daily basis, and I was born with, and other auto-inflammatory diseases and conditions. Global Association, and the money that we donated for them back in September, and this time goes to group therapy sessions for children who are dealing with uh, these conditions and their parents as well to help kind of help them cope and and. Uh, you know, connect and uh, the parents in, in the previous sessions have said that the kids have uh, shown a, a, a lot of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A lot of progress, improvement and progress. Thank you, Kev. Uh, yeah. So it, this was stuff that was not available to me. My parents had no idea what they were doing. I was adopted. So they were kind of stuck with this kid, little kid who had familial Mediterranean fever. And uh, yeah, so um, definitely, uh, grateful for all of you who have donated and uh all of you have supported and again that's what this weekend is all about for international rare disease day on sunday february 28th uh to gain uh raise money and raise awareness on rare diseases uh so thank you everybody who have for for all your help steph james dante uh uh who ledge. else? Uh, Gippy, the ledge, of course, the ledge. I mean, we can't thank you enough, man. <laughs> uh, so, Steph, Kev. <clears throat> um, <laughs> so, and speaking of which, Kev, stop using the Planet of Nerds handle 
saying stuff and putting my name at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Kev, next to David March, the ledge, we have our green goon, the orcs. The orc says, Kev, introduce yourself. Hey, uh, yeah, the orc says, uh, or orc says, apparently, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, uh, Kev, aka Enough Said, aka Captain Strong. Oh. And yes, this stuff is high in fiber, high in protein, high in energy, and it gets me through these 14 hour shifts. So thank you. <laughs> thank you, one and all. <laughs> On four hours kip for last night. Or this morning. Or this whatever day it is. They all yeah. they all mesh together in this four day stream again. So, so thank you, yeah. Kev, for, for taking time off work and, and helping uh this good cause and helping build your channel the planet of nerds uh and it's all self-serving there's absolutely yes absolutely. to do with the children nothing to do with their charity or anything it's all to do with me yes I'm and sure. next to him all the way from oceana we have halogen helix paul just waking up on saturday <laughs> morning <laughs> how you doing paul so we got a times crossed yeah it's all good i'm here Happy to be here. <clears throat> I'm uh I'm sure it's not the first time someone's crossed times between the United States and Australia for uh when you have to be somewhere someone else has to be with you and yeah, it's uh it's it's uh, I was talking to Steph actually about this way earlier in the well, last night for me, but early in the day for her, like the it's always a crossover thing when I'm trying to do stuff with with other like with Americans, it's always either I'm up late, up really early, or they're up really late. Yeah. Okay, okay. Like with other okay. Americans, <laughs> I just need to say something very quickly. John, what? Thank you. Hey, thank you, man. Hi. Oh, did we get a big donation? No, it's John. Don't be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but no, every little bit helps. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. Just said two people. Or, wait. Huh? Yeah, it, 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 it keeps saying. For me, it keeps saying six people have just made a donation. Yeah, but it's. I guess that's one, two, three. Uh, okay. Either way, John, thank you so much for your donation. Every little bit helps. And uh, remember to go check out Nerd Reactor. Like Steph said, he doesn't need as much help as we all do with yeah, our yeah, channels. Just but continue watching the still, planet of nerds. Yeah. <laughs> and subscribe. Thank you. And go check out Nerd Reactor. He's got some cool yeah. videos. And check out the Quinzel every other Monday. This Monday. Yes, this Monday. Who yeah. knows what will happen to us? Yeah. It's a sci-fi RPG campaign we're doing inspired by Firefly, Cowboy Bebop, etc. That's cool. Great. Yeah. And Chris, Ooh. his character is like an Indiana Jones. Uh, <laughs> Leonardo great Gatsby. Uh, great Gatsby. He's uh, <laughs> showing off his arms. Uh, I did an artwork, which I will reveal later. Or we can reveal it here. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well, yeah, we'll do that later. We got we got a lot going on. John will be with us tonight for some gaming. We're going to play some Valheim, most likely. Yes! Valheim! Be Vikings. Uh, I, got I have that one, don't I? Guys there. Yes, you do. Ooh, yes. <laughs> I have Valheim. I'm going to have to have be getting oh, yeah, Valheim in a moment, guys. I've got work in the morning. Oh. Well, oh. Steph, thank you for hanging out for this hour. We knew you were going to be leaving us, so uh, thank you for the reactions. Timing. Yes, that yep. was great. We need to do that again, and next, yeah, we need to just do more of those on stream. So even if we're just hanging out on a, a Zoom call, we'll go on stream and do some reactions. Or well, I think we should save that for our next charity stream because I'm pretty sure we'll do another one. That mm -hmm. is true. That, yeah, that is very I only put true. out the big guns at special events, you know. <laughs> so Steph's reactions are the big guns. I say big guns. Yeah, yeah, the four foot Hobbit. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm using big and in inverted commas there. <laughs> I can still get on all the rides on Alton Towers. You get screw you. Oh yeah, how is the teacup ride? Piss off! Oh my god, <laughs> you're the only person I know who needs a fucking ladder to get down off the chair. Bog off. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me ask you a question: If you go into the office at work. Do you have to have a safety harness in your chair for working at heights? Oh, oh <laughs> I'm, I'm just asking Dude, you. I'm just curious, you know. Just, just imagine. You have to do a risk assessment every time you come in the office. When I see you. <laughs> you can't do that. Nobody's donated 50. 
<laughs> you know, it's a, a lot more than that. It's happening now. now. You can't get out of it. That's it. Uh, but the challenge earlier really on still stands, though. So if anyone else donates, uh, if they make a suggestion of what for me to react, um, I will do that live. Um, so even though I'm bogging off now, um she that challenge still back. stands for everyone and i will be back exactly uh, yeah, i'm gonna time. i'm gonna go now uh because i need to get ready for bed and um uh, be a working tomorrow yeah. so uh enjoy the rest of your stream guys everyone take care thanks to everyone that supported us so far and i'll see y'all tomorrow later yes, honey bye right guys now that she's gone <laughs> Let's watch more videos. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, no, did everyone get that? See that article in the Zoom chat? Paul sent it yeah, to me. I, I, yep. Yeah, I had a brief look at it and I've done some little bit of research as well while people yeah. were talking. Yeah. So, um, apparently, there is a new Superman movie in the works with J.J. Abrams producing and it's going to be a black Superman story. Yeah, so what? Well, discuss. Feelings? I can go first if you want. Yeah, go for it, go Paul. On, Paul. <laughs> uh, I got two, wake I got you up. two, two things. Um, I don't care. <laughs> like, and second thing is, I did some research. He exists in the multiverse. He's on another Earth in the multiverse. But we haven't had an actual Superman in the movies yet. Like, we haven't had a Clark Kent in the movies yet like this is the problem with dc is they want to be like let's jump forward a th- like a hundred years to like this is what snyder did he like put dark knight batman with a superman who was like literally became superman in, in the last movie like dc needs to like hard reset and just do stuff from scratch and start from the beginning and tell these stories of these characters from the beginning like we we're jumping to this not it's like okay we're gonna do another else if, if it's like joker okay i'll, I'll, I'll yeah that's I'll what i from the thing yeah. if it's like joker and it's an else world story of like black K- kal-el because he's called kal-el on the on the other earth uh, i can't remember what earth he's from um oh, hang I can't on remember which one it uh he, it's a multiverse but he's called kelvin ellis and he he's like his name is kal-el uh, in in that universe as well he comes from krypton it's exactly the same story basically but it's like if we do this story with with him on another earth it's like okay we're 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 doing that elseworld story but we still haven't got a main universe yet and we haven't set up a multiverse like mcu is setting a multiverse up but we haven't set this multiverse up for dc so it's like for me it's like jumping a gun again and what's the point of it is it to is it just to have a black Superman is that the point of it? Because we already got one with Will Smith when he did um, that movie with Charlize Theron, Hancock. Hancock. We already got like a a black Superman of sorts, in my opinion. And also, like, what is it in the Fast and Furious movie, Idris Elba? <laughs> I'm black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that, uh, Rob's, Rob, uh, Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah, yeah, but Hobbs and Shaw. I mean, yeah, that, yeah. that's my initial thoughts on it. Is like, I just don't think we're. When, I don't think it's needed. I think we need to actually set DC up properly and have these have the Trinity actually set up properly and have like the rest of the Justice League set up properly and have have Green Lantern that's and have all these not gonna different happen. stories. No, do you, yeah, that's never going to happen. Do you well, think, it's like, do you it's think, like you can't say it's never going to happen. I just feel like it should be a hard reset. It should like, be, but it thing. sounds like DC to me. Down. It sounds like DC to me based on their also their history in film going back to the 90s where everything was just Elseworlds tales, it sounds like they're just doing the, that. That's Maybe they're deciding to go back to that where everything's just standalone Elseworlds. There's no connection. We're, let's stop trying to copy the MCU, uh, which I think might be a smart move for them. The problem is the fans want it all connected. And also right. they see the big dollar signs for, that Marvel is making with the connected universe. But look at the Dark Knight trilogy. You didn't need that connected to anything else for it to make billions of dollars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, um, I think Mike from Rogue Comics just talked about the writer of Black Superman. He's saying they aren't that good, and he's been writing Black Panther and Captain America for three years now. Correct me if I'm wrong, if that's what he, the comic line you're talking about uh, is the Black Superman arc. But, yeah, I just feel like, 
Well, they're trying to do a hard reset with this Flash movie, and that's what Jody mm-hmm. thinks is going to be like the the save all for the DC universe. And I actually don't think it's going to be that. I think that they just need to let this universe die. Like, D, like Snyder <laughs> should just go. Oh, you mean die. kill it? Pretend like they, it never existed. Just well, like that's uh, what they are need your to favorite do Star Wars that. movie. Kill exactly. the past. <laughs> yeah, but that's what they're trying to like. Um, that's what they're trying to Star do. Star Wars, like, yeah, I agree. Star Wars is a little different you, because there's no history of it resetting. While with DC, you could just say, "Oh, we decided there was a cataclysmic event and everything reset," and you can just yeah, refer to it in like Flash a base. Point's supposed to be well, yes, like, yes, is, is that you have Aquaman who made a billion dollars. And you have Wonder Woman, whose first movie made 800, and we know that it wouldn't have made, but Wonder Woman 2 is still out there, and it fits the narrative. So those movies are important. And then and Shazam. It's also yeah, Shazam. Shazam. So we have these movies that are going concerns, and you just can't kill them and recast. And well, that's no, why I don't think they the should platform. recast that. Like, they're not part of the Trinity, though. It's pretty easy to keep Black Adam around in Shazam because they haven't really shown their Superman. They haven't shown, like, they had no, like, remember at the end of Shazam, yeah. they didn't show Cavill's head. It's very easy. Like, and I feel like that's what they're going to try and do with the Flash. Okay, so you just want to keep everything else around, but, like, the main yeah. ones just, like, I feel like Jody is no right. They're going, to, they're going to reset with Flashpoint. They're going to try to. I think yeah. they're going to try to do a hard reset with Flashpoint and recast all these people. Hopefully Matt Reeves is a standalone because I don't want um, Mr. Twinkly Vampire as the main Batman in the universe. <laughs> he's um, actually a good actor. I'd be okay actor. with that I'm, if he's, uh, he's actually good. a good actor. He, he might be a good actor, and I agree. He's like been in some good films at acting, yeah. but I don't like that cow. I don't like that bat suit. It's like a demented version of like um, of like Flashpoint's Batman with the with the the high raised thing uh-huh. at the end. And then yeah, the, but also you got to remember in this movie it's only year two. Yeah, he's still developing as the Batman. Yeah, yeah, it's true. But if so it's only if year they two. say, I swear to you, if they say that that is the like the rumor is that bats the the bat suit the symbol is made out of the gun that killed his parents. If they literally say that, and I'm walking out of the cinema, I'm done. Like, <laughs> I that is just too corny for me. <laughs> Mm, I cannot compare. Uh, also, the oh, that's right. I had a third point. Sorry, JJ Abrams involved in any movie. I, it's I'm gonna just, be a fun. Oh yeah, that's just uh, yeah. I'm not interested in any movie he makes. He, he has destroyed Star Trek. He has destroyed Star Wars. Star Wars. Like, and then he'll I destroy just, the DC. <laughs> and he'll yeah. destroy DC. He'll do no better for DC but, than than Snyder has. I, I don't I know just, how he manages it all the time. He comes in, takes a well-known, well-established, loved IP fucks it up, buggers off somewhere else and gets a massive deal to do it all over again. Yeah. It, well, he's very uh, good at the corporate boardroom politics that make these things happen. He never he's finishes very good at that something. Stuff. Oh. That's and he does problem. occasionally he okay. Finish. He's not like the first Star Trek movie was fine. The first of the new Star Wars movies was fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, I enjoyed that. But and other people it, come yeah. along and re- wreck those things. So. Uh, no, 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 no. Then he made Into Darkness, he remade Wrath of Khan. Like, he remade... He remade Wrath of Khan. Any Star Trek fan knows what that means. Like, yes. what, you don't do that. Like, because yeah, Wrath of Khan like, is like a classic. It's the magnum opus of like but of Star I, Trek. I've seen it like recently. I'm like, eh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but then you've got inter intersystemary transportation. And... Oh, dude. Yeah, Star Trek yeah they retcon so much Star stuff too. into the yeah. show. Like, it's like this is Kirk's era, guys. Oh. Like, you can't do this stuff. Like, they didn't even know how to do this in TNG. Like, mm. yeah. Anyway, without getting too far off it, it's like it, he just doesn't. He knows. He thinks he he can start things, but he never finishes yeah. stuff well. And like, yeah. It, He's yeah, a bit I mean, like uh, Michael Caine in the Italian <laughs> job at the very end of the film. Hang on, lads, I've got an idea. <laughs> and then it just cuts to credits and just like, oh, <laughs> uh, there you go. <laughs> oh, um, Andy wants to call in. Yeah, I sent him the link. Yeah, cool. Oh, link is in your WhatsApp, Andy. Um, yeah, I just, I don't like this. <laughs> I. I just like this. I, I get the idea of Elseworlds stuff, but the general audience isn't going to understand this. Like, then they're, they're going to have to explain it. Like, are they even going to explain it? it's another Earth that he's on? Like, maybe the general CW audience seemed to give would... a billion dollars to a Joker movie that had no connection to anything else. Yeah, I think because people, it had the Joker yeah, name on it. it. Yeah, it's yeah. inspired people, by people, the Joker. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah people understand Joker because he's a large figure. Black Superman, I don't know. It's not like it's like Earth. What are they going to say? Earth two, like, and mm. he comes from K- Krypton, but he goes instead of going to a farm, he goes to Detroit. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> no, that's what happens? Like, oh, wow. Wow. Is he going to have a cameo wow. in Flashpoint wow. now? Is he going to have a cameo in Flashpoint now? No, I'm like, I'm asking that. People question. also seem to I'm have understood uh, into the Spider Verse pretty well, and there's a, like ten different Spider people men in that one, including Miles Morales. Well, like, and, and the I mean, audiences are a bit more smarter than we seem to be giving them credit for. Hasn't yeah. Star Wars taught us anything that all you need is a text crawl mm-hmm. to explain yeah, a, what happened in the past? Yeah, well, sometimes you don't even need a text crawl. I love the way they did. What was it? The uh, the silent movie with uh, uh, John Krasinski. Oh, oh, uh, Quiet. Uh, uh, Quiet Place. Quiet Place, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you didn't even have to explain anything. You just know it's the post-apocalyptic world. It's just like, here, so whatever weeks yeah. later. If it, the movie is well-written and well-directed yeah. and well-acted, you don't need connections to anything else. And the problem is, is will this movie be good or mm-hmm. will it not be good? And okay. with J.J. Abrams, it's 50-50. <laughs> to clarify, this is, this is from the fandom site like about his origin this is what it says i don't like i don't know where he lands but this is what it says found by a poor but kind ellis family who christened him calvin he was raised to stand up for himself no matter the odds and to fight for what's right like that's his origin story like they've just wrote there like but he's found by some poor family so i don't I don't know. Read I into that. He's found by will. farmers. He's probably found <laughs> by the inner city group of some sort. Maybe Detroit. Maybe somewhere else. <laughs> What's up, Andy? Yeah. Hey. Can What's you hear me? On? We can yeah, hear yeah. you. Hey, really? What's up, Andy? I can't. I can't look. I'm driving, so yeah. it's not safe for me to look. But you guys can see the there. I just want. I heard you guys talking Black Superman, so I wanted. To, I tweeted out that people come join and talk, and just drop in to make a quick uh, thought on it all. Because I, 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 I don't know if you watched the report, but. What was yet. interesting to me, what was inter- uh, what, I, what, I, what I know from my sources is that they have been trying to do this for a while, which they've sort of been saying in the trades. But what, I, what, what hasn't been said is that, and I can't say who or what, but some very known filmmakers have attempted to pitch Warner Brothers a proper Clark Kent story, like Superman movie, like sort of to do what Zack Snyder didn't do, as well as give Harry, Henry Cavill sort of his own due. And they rejected them all in for, to do wow. this. One. And so this has been ongoing for a while, sort of the plan to have. Uh, I guess it is going to be Calvin Ellis, is because I'm not familiar with the character, but he's like a multiverse mm-hmm. Superman. We, UJ and I were talking about earlier from uh, what was it, Infinite, just uh, whatever that comic run. But uh, it, it, what I'm told is, yeah, it is going to be Calvin Ellis' story. It won't be Clark Kent. In which case, I don't really care. Then I think if yeah. they really turned Clark Kent. Black, then that would then I think that there would be some some frust- frust- justified frustrations. But if they're just making a multiverse version, and if this is part of Justice League Dark and something JJ is doing, I don't really care. But as I said in my video, I'm just I'm frustrated we didn't get like a proper Superman Clark Kent right. movie first. I think that's the biggest frustration for a lot of fans out there. That's my two cents. Yeah, no, I fully agree with that. I I think we saw with. Even though they're all different divisions, we saw with things like the Arrowverse and the direction that it has gone, that this is the direction they seem to want to go. I mean, as much as it's a kind of a joke, James, he's right. WB kind of seems like they're going woke a little bit, like they're trying. Yeah, to... it's depressing to hear that. Yeah, this which is, is very depressing. This is not the way. Like, <laughs> like they're not going to win this way. Like yeah. every company that has done this, the fact that like Andy just confirmed that they've rejected origin stories for doing like Superman the right way over and over that. And then they're going to do this instead. Ugh. Once that gets well, out into on. the mainstream. Let's let, cause I, cause I want to be careful. Like Superman the right way. I think there are a million ways to do it. I yeah. think we should be careful. Like Clark Kent needs a justified movie. It's how I yeah, think it is. That's I what I mean by the can, right way. You can make multiple Superman. I think there is a way to make a black Superman. I don't. As, as, yeah. I don't. I hate. I don't want there to be distraction. Like and make it. It's like it's like Ghost Lady Ghostbusters. That movie didn't suck because they were ladies. It sucked because it was just a bad movie that disrespected its origin and yeah. like didn't have the wherewithal to like do it correctly. And we wanted a, a proper Ghostbusters again because it had been so long. And so I think it's the same thing here, which is like 
look, this could be a great movie. It could. I, I don't. I worry with JJ, but he's a better producer than director. Let's be honest. But yeah. you know, but it's like, what the hell is Warner Brothers doing? Why this over giving us a Henry Cavill movie without Zack Snyder? I think it would even be better. Like another filmmaker to like take his direction and give him the franchise that I think Cavill deserves. Okay, I'll live with Man of Steel if we can finally get him to stop brooding and be Superman. He's Superman. <laughs> 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 Jesus. Are you still driving, by the way? <laughs> that a, looks I'm like parked. he's in a light. I'm he's parked, parked right now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because so I was at a driver. Hey! Andy, I was saying that Miles like, Morales uh, did oh, through this no, Spider-Verse correctly that's... with a black Spider-Man, but then you just t- drop us that stuff all about uh, what Warner Brothers is doing, and I'm like, oh. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. it. That's, sound like, like that's what I mean by the like right Superman. I'm talking about... I, 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 I've seen I've seen some takes out there that are frustrating. It's just like, who cares if it's the black suit? It's, I, I think we're all. Ju- I think it's justified to be frustrated. Of like Warner Brothers, get your act together. You have a good Superman. You can take that. He's clearly down. He wants mm-hmm. to do it. As I was saying in my video, I'm curious what you guys think. Like, why won't they just confirm Shazam two and bring him back? Because I'm I'm assuming Cavill's like I don't want to be supporting role Superman. Fuck you. Like I'm Superman. Am I in a movie or am I not? <laughs> Are you, right. Am I your Superman or am I not your Superman? Are you going to put a ring on it? Are we committed? Or are you just sticking me around and not, you know, not giving me the full, full, the full thing? You know, I think it's where we're at. And I can see why maybe this could, who knows, maybe I, I'm speculating now, but this could potentially have some detriment to Cavill's return, which I think is sad because regardless of what you think of Snyder Cut or Zack Snyder, I think Cavill was a good Superman and could be a great yes. Superman in more movies. I think all fans, Snyder Cut or not, agree. We know it hated Henry Cavill. They just no. didn't love the portrayal, you know. It was the writing. That's what yeah. happened, like you said, with the the uh, the Ghostbusters movie. It wasn't necessarily the actresses or the. This is just a garbage movie. It was the terrible written movie. I I got a feeling. I got a theory. I I feel like Flashpoint. They're gonna. That's how they're gonna put this Superman in, into the universe. They're not gonna do oh, him sure. Elseworlds. Yeah. They're gonna do a Flashpoint and make him black and make him change to this uh this character calvin ellis and and then he'll just be black from then on like because of the change that flat they said that they're doing so much stuff that flashpoint actually didn't do in the comics or in the animated movie to fix their universe but in fixing it they i do agree with james they they put they're going to go the work way and people are going to be turned off because they're going to realize exactly what it is and look at every company that has done this they have not been successful in it so you, it's uh, like I don't think it'll be turned off. Like there are things you can make changes from, and then people will accept it. Like WandaVision. I really, I like, I, I can't. I want to. I can't wait to hear Jody's take on this because I don't <laughs> think he's going to be for it. I don't think he's going to be for it. He's not. Because I, I, I mean, I, have a, I know he just posted a video, but we've we've been talking, and he's not. Yeah, because he wants a Clark Kent. Like everyone wants wants that suit, man. Like they want to see him well, no, do and, 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 it. Again, like we. Uche, Uche was like, as a black man, I, I, Clark Kent cannot be like, he's like, I want it. I want Cavill. Like, so it's like, yeah, I mean, obviously yeah. I don't speak for all, but it's like, I agree. It's like this, I think, and John, it's right. It's like, I, I, this is just stupid. It's stupid because it's like, why, why now? Why this? It doesn't mean it couldn't be great. You know, it doesn't mean it couldn't be a good story, but it once again shows, as Uche said himself, he's like, it just shows the lack of a clear plan on Warner Brothers' sake. But yeah, I mean, it's clearly going to, they're already, you know, Supergirl, it's coming back. And I don't have a problem with that casting. She seems like she could be good. Um, mm-hmm. and, but, uh, you know, like they're clearly going to reset everything and just in a flashpoint, which let's be clear, that's a good thing for them to do. For them to be able to finally have a reset button to sort of do things is great. But what's scary about that is, all right, you get to press that button once. And who's in yeah. charge now that you press the button? Because th- that, that could be the real problem if you start doing all these stupid things. Because, well, hey, we have a multiverse now. We can do everything. No, that, that could actually implode in itself. <laughs> Yeah. If you don't have good leadership, yeah, and 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 you have to feel bad a little bit for Henry Cavill because I mean he he's like his look is perfect for Superman. He's a great actor. He just hasn't been given the chance. And he's, he's fine. He's got he's got The Witcher. <laughs> well, oh, I'm not fine. saying and, he's not yeah, fine, but I mean Superman, Superman versus Geralt. Who would you rather I play? Geralt. I'll choose Geralt just because he's a better character. Well, me. he's also, yeah, I mean, for Henry Cavill, he probably would choose Geralt, too, because he's a huge Witcher fan. Yeah, but yeah. like in your well, career as an actor... He doesn't have to be as built, right? 
could probably take his. Uh, yeah. His yeah, abs. he gets to wear all the armor. Yeah, yeah uh, so it's true. Yeah. It's less of a. <laughs> well, and also, oh I, feel like, I feel like Netflix cast him for it, whereas Warner Brothers Look is dicking him bikes. around. What the hell? Why are there so many bikes in that guy's trunk? He's stolen them all. <laughs> Look at me. My God. That is terrifying. Why is this guy <laughs> recording me? Yeah. <laughs> welcome to, welcome to Planet like, of Nerds traffic report. Oh man, I actually turn this off. Are you on Bruce Florida, B. Down? Are you on 275 you or 75? <laughs> what are you on, 275? I don't even know. I've lived here, Chris, three years. I don't, I don't know any of these cameras. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> are you on the interstate? That's, if you're on the interstate, oh, you're either crazy. on 275 or. I think he's, uh, he's dropped. Yeah, Chris, which one has oh, really bad crazy. reception? Uh, There are dead spots all Thanks, over. Yeah, I'm in the. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm by the outlet. I'm out. Oh, you're yo, you're you're okay. You're on two seventy five, right in Wesley Chapel. Okay, sounds like it. Yes. Yes, yeah, so you're by the outlets. You're on two seventy five. Yeah. Tampa <laughs> talk here on Planet on of the Nerds. Planet of Nerds. Tampa <laughs> talk. Has everyone dealt by speaking of Planet of Nerds? And we're talking awesome Superman. As I interrupt, sorry to interrupt. I only had a few minutes, and I wanted to make sure I helped. Oh, your voice has, hey, has everyone donated already? Come on, man, it's for a good cause. If we brought any new viewers in, or if anybody's tuning in on this hot topic. Make sure you donate to the good cause. Rare, rare disease day coming up. You guys are doing amazing work. Appl appl a massive applause to you for Thank keeping you. the stream going and raising the awareness for all that you're doing. Good job, guys. Thank Cheers, you. Man. Yeah, and we've had some really good donations. The Ledge himself, D David, donated a, a large amount. Steph has donated. John nice. donated. James has donated. Dante. So, uh, Gippy, we've had some some people donate. We're, we're actually very getting close to our goal, and it's only day two. For the kids, man. For the kids. Yep. Exactly. For the kids. Exactly. It's still for the but, children. Do so you think the kids will like Black Superman? What do we think? Do you guys know? Is that uh, idea? I don't care. I don't like, think I, they'll. I, I don't think they will. I think they're gonna try and shove too much wokeness down our throats with it. Unfortunately. Yeah, but they're they're gonna put put the message before the product. Yeah, that's why they hired JJ. That's he's willing to do that kind of stuff. If they had brought in someone else, maybe an independent or mid-range director and Brian producer Johnson. into this, <laughs> but JJ is good at taking orders. And can he's you going imagine, to do what the, the guys want. If imagine, this were more like how, Joker. How funny that they're like, let's do or hey, we're gonna finally uh, JJ, we're gonna pay you about half a billion dollars. Come fix DC. And well, yeah, we'll have JJ be the white savior to finally bring Black Superman in. <laughs> I mean, oh right? God. Yeah, like Ryan what Coogler. Ryan Coogler has got to be like Whoa. pissed. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, come on, man, it's go like, hire one of my fellow on. black director. I brought Black Panther, and you're gonna give Black Superman to a white guy? Like, uh. <laughs> it's true. Michael B. Well, Michael B. Jordan's been trying to do it for years. Yeah. And then JJ walks in. He's like, all right, yeah, yeah, let's do the Black Superman. That, that'll be in right now. That'll make me look not racist. Cool. Right. And That'll Erica, all, all the people who hate me about Star Wars. <laughs> Erica Mason, welcome to the chat. Thank you for coming by and watching. Don't forget to subscribe, donate if you can for the kids. We're raising money for the FMF and AID Global Association for International Rare Disease Day on Sunday, February twenty eighth. She makes a good point. Uh, like you said, Andy, you don't care what color he is. She just wants a unique take on the character, which I think we all want. I think we just want a mm. good, unique We want a good story. Take, we want a story. good story. We don't want one that's not true to the character, but we want it to be that actor's unique take on it. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. we, just, we just want good product. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I, I can tell you there, a pair, there, there seemingly was some good product and they rejected it this so yeah um, it feels uh, like they're going they're going back i feel like they're going back woman on this like yeah uh, i wasn't and, gonna and, say uh, that and this is the problem is that if anybody has watched that show like the first episode of that second season oh is god one of don't the even worst stop television me. shows ever one of the worst tv episodes i've ever watched in my life and and it was all like there was literally they stopped in the middle of that to do a big speech with which andy broke down oh yeah this, this massive speech and it was like the woke agenda like literally the manifesto she read out and it was like ah guys we get it we we understand like everyone knows this by now like and i just feel like this is what's going to happen like he's like the origin story oh, man i could write the origin story for this black superman right now and people will be like 
And it's like, yeah, I feel like that's where they're going to go with this. Uh, and it's not a unique take to me. It's like, we haven't got, I don't mind, like, I don't mind doing this stuff, doing unique take. It's like, but if we did Miles Morales before we did Tom, uh, not Tom, before we did actual um, Spider-Man, Peter Parker. Peter Parker, that wouldn't make sense to me. It's like, we, we can't put like, like cart before like horse this stuff we haven't gotten an actual take of superman from the from the like like they're doing it depends, superman it depends and lois. On the characters though because they Dude, did it that took like where they had the first God five minutes playing. of superman and lois was more superman and more clark kent than all of the snyderverse superman like he was saving well, people Paul, he was we didn't we have it now right that that exists so that maybe is why and the thing I was going to say, speaking of Superman Lewis, our, our stream last night, I didn't even consider the timing, but it's like, I don't think that that writer made much of a dip, but I do know the show runners behind Lois, Superman and Lois were pissed. Um, I, I'm not show runners, but like people in the show, you know what I'm saying? Like people involved in the show were upset mm. that she was out there trying to label the show sexist racist. But the timing is a little suspect now that I think about it. Like she's out there saying Superman Lois is racist, they didn't do all this stuff. And then Warner Brothers is like, yo, Black Superman. Mic drop. <laughs> like, because it's like they didn't have to announce it now. But yeah. it's like it, 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 all that shit. So that some, someone in charge is like, it's all like, it, it really could be like F. Ray Fisher who supported it. There could be such a bitterness between those, which I would I would not be surprised given how heavy. Wait, wait. Ray's who said, there, who right? said the show was racist? Walter Hamada is like, one of the writers. This, this writer so, from. So Ray Fisher. Ray Fisher, go go to Ray Fisher's Twitter. I'm sure you're not blocked by it, John. We'll see him standing <laughs> up for this woman, uh, Naidra, Naidra uh, something. Adira. And so she was an ex writer on a. Uh, Adrian with the N on the she front. Fired. She was fired for uh, Nadria. Nadria, yeah. Fired for the it. show for, for not being a good writer. She, they said it as much. And I, I have sources who have confirmed she just wasn't, her writing wasn't good enough for the show. And she blamed racism. Because she's uh. like, there wasn't enough black characters, there wasn't enough this, there wasn't enough that. And so, I mean, I, and the only reason I sort of jumped on it is because I had some sources that were telling me, oh, man, this is really, what she's doing is not good. It's not mm -hmm. actually helping, uh, you know, keep people, you know, POC is getting the work. It's not, it's, it's it, what she's doing is actually a detriment because she's just a bad bitter writer who is now being a psycho about it on social media. And it's not helpful because mm -hmm. it wasn't racism. There wasn't, it was just, that's not what it was at all. But Ray Fisher, you know, signal boosted her yesterday, the other couple of days ago. And so it's, I'm, you know, I'm always, the Hollywood conspiracies run deep through me. <laughs> like, there is like a part of me wonders if Amada leaked that story to that site <laughs> to sort of really try to counterbalance. You want to call Superman, us and Superman racist? Okay, cool. Well, we're writing Black Superman. How's that? See ya. You're not right. writing it. Bye. And something that's uh, watching all these Star Trek reveals and watching a lot of the coverage on some of the other channels talking about all the Star Treks, it's cheap to make an announcement. You can say we're we yeah J.J. Abrams is going to be doing a hundred different projects, but until you get to like somewhere close to a shooting schedule, it doesn't mean shit. Like yeah. right, well, we've no, had so that, many that's, Star that's, Trek that's, shows that's, and that's movies that's, announced that that's, don't haven't seen the light of day, but people. No, this wasn't a leak. This was an announcement. This yeah. was an announcement. Yeah, and I, and I gotta run because I'm gonna lose reception in a minute, Chris. But I'll leave right. you words with this. You guys keep talking, but this was an announcement. This was J like they made a point to say JJ is doing this. We've hired this writer. We're so excited for this new take. Yada yada yada. This was a they they this had purpose. This wasn't like a lot of other stories that the trades say this is happening and then we all speculate until they confirm. No, how how many times has Warner come forward and announced who's writing one of their movies? It's not. It's pretty rare these days where someone officially mm. acknowledges it. So it only amps up the reality of this is a woke move to sort of save face. To sort of say, nope, we're doing this. Cool, see ya. Uh, which take it as you will. Uh, but everybody, donate, subscribe to Planet of the Nerds. I'm going to lose you in a second, so I'm just decking out before I lose you in this area I'm heading to. Uh, but keep it up, the good work, guys. Thank you for letting me drop in. Yeah, thanks for coming by, yeah, Andy. Yeah. Anytime, man. Uh, I'll be back soon uh, when I get a moment, but uh, uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks, guys. Sounds good. Drive safe, Drive safe. Yeah. Bye. Bye. And Thank speaking you. of donations, the yeah, novice. So Thank you, you, man. 20 quid <laughs> from the novice. So we definitely go. appreciate yeah. you. We're getting closer and closer to that goal, guys. Oh, man. This is uh, uh, mm. uh, a. Yeah. Right, I yeah. was going Thank to counterpoint back is just, you know, you look at uh, 
Bad Robot, they've announced at least five, three, four or five shows for Star Trek with directors yeah, and writers attached. Mm-hmm. And we've never seen any of these shows. No. So it's, I, I get it that Warner Brothers might not be, it might be a reaction and that to Warner Brothers uh, doing this. But like, until I get see a bit more than just, oh, we just a, attached a producer to this. That's not necessarily me. See, and this much. is the problem. I'm, I'm looking at this now. I'm just having a look and seeing what the reaction is generally on Twitter right now. And I've looked at like the discussing film thread for a little bit just now and other things. And if you just, this is, this is the problem with what's happening now. If you don't like this, you're already an ism. Like, mm. like that's it. Like, if you don't like this, you don't have to, like, you don't have to, agree, like, if you don't agree with it, you're an ism already. And this is the problem with the, because now, because people are saying that we're going to get the opposing side against work culture, like run up, and then they're going to have this clash like on welcome, now, like welcome to social media. Welcome yeah, to, like, welcome that, to modern I'm saying is marketing like, in the 21st this century. Is, this is exactly what happens. Like this is what like this is exactly what Paul Feig did with with Ghostbusters. Though he was like, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. And then when people didn't like it, he's like, Oh, it's because you're sexist. And it's like, no, I didn't yeah. like it because it's not funny. And you remade what which should have been a continuation. You remade a classic 80s film that everyone loved. Of course. No one's going to like this. It's like if you did Back to the Future and then made them all female. Like, it's like, no, no one's going to care all female. They're going to care you're remaking Back to the Future. Like, yeah. um, but it's like this here. It's like a lot of, I'm seeing a lot of um, people going, I'd rather have Icon, which is another DC character, instead of this. Like a lot of people are, you know, saying like there's a lot of other black characters they could do. And then other people are saying, I hope it's Val Zod, which is another um black superman like character instead of a a lot of people don't want a race bent clark kent so yeah there's like a there's people that are thinking that they're just race swapping yeah. clark kent as well at this stage so this yeah is... no, no and i agree with like there's a thing like with marvel right they can do new properties and people will flock to it like guardians of the galaxy yeah mm. so dc can easily pull something off if they have the right people behind but, DC you know, just doesn't yeah. seem to have the kind of centralized leadership that needs to be done like I like that you're here, John. You're giving, like, you're trying to give the hope. It's like, with DC, I just have no hope for them whatsoever. Warner Brothers has, like, lost all my respect as a movie company. Unfortunately, they don't know yeah, what it's they're getting doing. that way at the moment. They have the greatest characters in the comic universe. They are better than Marvel characters. The, the Justice League is better than the Avengers, and they can't do anything with them. And the fact that Andy has confirmed that they've rejected multiple Superman scripts with Cavill is just a disaster. Like everyone wanted the Man of Steel 2. Everyone wanted that movie before BVS. And it's like, no, we don't want to do that. We want to, we want to like, we want to appeal to this, this group over here instead of the mass of like yeah. who would come to see a Superman film. And like, I noticed a comment the earlier on in the chat from Emma, uh, Erica Mason. Again, welcome to the channel. Um, uh, well, Coach is the reason why Damien Lindoff made HBO's Watchmen because of his novel on Black Wall Street. Now, is the HBO Watchmen really a good benchmark? Yeah, All my work friends Yeah, it. no. <laughs> yeah, thank no. you. I was waiting for some. I was waiting for somebody Dude, to confirm what they my did opinion to of Rorschach it. Rorschach in that show oh. was. I immediately stopped watching when I found out what they did to Rorschach in that show. I was like, no, Rorschach stood for everything. You're not. You're. You're trying to be for in this show. They turned Rorschach into some. You know, uh, I don't know how to say this without getting the stream cancelled. Someone who is <laughs> against other minorities. I, uh, people, I didn't see it as inspiring I see it them. As that, I see it inspiring as inspiring like, horrible people like. To do no, but anybody, things. anybody can inspire horrible people. I just think like these horrible people took that. But his manifesto wasn't that. And we saw that in the Watchmen comic and in the movie for the most part. His yeah. his thing that he wrote down was nothing to do with that. That's the problem. It's like they they push that into his character. No, but uh, no, uh, has been like that. What in the comics where he was just talking shit on uh, what was it, the uh, liberals? Yeah, yeah, he does definitely yeah. have a, a certain oh, he has perspective. A, he, he has a dirty, yeah. hairy persona. Yeah, he has so. a persona, yeah. yeah but yeah. it's like, it's so more it's about justice for him. I think him. they just wanted a, 
amplify, oh, yeah, yeah. amplify. He hates liberals yeah, because they, he thinks they're weak and will let the criminals go. That's his. That's kind of that's thing. why he doesn't like it. Not because they're all a certain minority. Like that's the yeah. that's what they yeah, but, took from I, that. I think and it like, was like uh, that's wrong in my like as a Rorschach fan. Yeah, yeah. A B, like that's not what he was about at all. And it's like, oh, let's make him a you know a W supremacist and it's like yeah no i don't i don't know you would hate I'm those not, people too. i'm not yeah, like yeah, that yeah. he would you yeah, know yeah, i think he would hate, hate those people. people yeah he would kill I those think, people like, i think if they brought him back <laughs> somehow like somehow they bring him back he would try to take them all out i think they would do that i think it's just like the uh the group just twisted his words mm. yeah but I, yeah, like that wasn't i don't know i, I don't know i haven't but, yeah, I, it I, I enjoyed it though i enjoyed watching was it, it well received because i i haven't it's... looked at it in a bit i feel like it was averagely like it wasn't uh um, you know, it wasn't like highly hyped by a lot of people there's like different groups of course that would hate or like yeah it. so yeah. like yeah. i'm talking about the you guys middle remember ground. hbo's the girls yes i remember that and so it so. has a tiny little audience but because it was that the right critically reviewed audience they loved it and now all the people who hate those critics hated it but and so there's more people who hate it but the all the the small narrow of right people loved it. That's kind of my perspective. It's, it reminds me of the girls. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, and, was... and also one thing that happened with the girls, because I remember that being back in 2014, all these right wingers, like one time I was listening to these guys on a podcast and they're like, do we really hate this show because it's bad? Or is it just because it's the end thing for all us crazy right wingers to hate this show? <laughs> yeah. That's always a good question to always ask. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. So I wanted tomatoes. The critics are like 96% for it and it's 55% rating audience yeah. score. So it's average. Yeah. Yeah. Which, not that I don't really go off critic rating, but the, the audience score, uh, well, prior yeah. to the Captain Marvel release, it used to mean something. But, but yeah, that's something you can sort of tell <laughs> on it. Like, can sort of tell a little bit about it. I don't really put much stock into it, but it's like average. And I thought it was from what I remember, a lot of it was like, Oh, it's, it's okay. Like, no, there wasn't, they had, obviously you're right, John, they had like the people that hated it and the people that hype beast it. And the middle was just like, Oh, it's okay. It's something to put on. I'll, I'll watch it. Like, which is yeah. generally like when you can sort of see how a show is doing, if you look at just the middle and, and people, I, that I don't go like by critic ratings for anything. I just go by audience. Side. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I, yeah, I don't I, go by I, any, I just watch the movie if I'm interested. Yeah, yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, oh, yeah, well, yeah, but I like critic, it. I like it. So that's because they're you know, like, audience ratings are known to like review bomb, especially Metacritic. If like they really hate something, let's give this game. Oh, yeah, Metacritic. Ones. I'm yeah, like, come on, Metacritic. Yeah, come Metacritic. on, a one. <laughs> I feel like what's the other? The, yeah, but you also what? get people not just review bombing, people uh, give bomb it in a positive way as well. Yeah, that's because. Yeah, you, so you can think about it, if you think about it, it kind of cancels each other out because you have the people who just want yeah, it to be yeah. good, so they so they constantly bombard Metacritic and in a positive yeah. and hype it. They review hype it's, it, uh, hype yeah, bomb so it, one, and they review group, bomb it. It's like that's why we have the Snyder, uh, not Snyder, but <laughs> Snyder fans coming in with uh, just praising yeah. Snyder stuff every time. Like someone says something, he's like, "Oh, you can't talk crap on Snyder." It's like, "Whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Snyder is yeah. the best." <laughs> um, come on, I like my Snyder one... stuff. What's the the where they record you as you come out of the cinema and they take your like score? Like, oh, I know the they do that in the states. Cinema, cinema score. score. That's yeah. the only one that I can you can really yeah. trust because it's like they re, they actually ask the people as they've exited the yeah. theater from the movie and ask them exactly. Yeah, I what like they that because like that those people are, yeah. aren't going to actually go to Rotten Tomatoes. And yeah, yeah. They're going to say I hated yeah. this or I really yeah. liked this or it was yeah. average, and that you're going to get a pretty good audience score from that from that you know from that sort of it's like a poll basically outside oh, yeah. of the cinema so right. sorry, yeah. I, sorry, to, sorry to interrupt very quickly <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, i'd like to say uh thank you very much to our new subscriber that i got a note vacation about uh test man 2k9 welcome to the channel thank you very much hope you're enjoying what you're seeing so far and then also jeff jeff harris has donated people thank you very much jeff this means a lot to us thank you so much and seriously, all of you in the chat watching now, if you're watching on a replay tomorrow or whatever, the, the GoFundMe, we're doing this all weekend. So we're going all weekend lo long. Me and Chris are putting our bodies to the test. We did 20 hours yesterday. We're doing 15 or whatever it is today, however long we feel like going today. Um, yes, uh, you guys are all awesome. And I'd like to thank everybody here for joining me. Paul, John, 
the ledge himself, David. Mm -hmm. you, you guys all rock. I mean, thank you to Andy just jumping in earlier, popping in, saying hi. Thank you to guests we had yesterday. Thank you for people who are coming in over the next couple of days. It's This is amazing. Seriously, we couldn't, we did not expect this to go this well. So, I mean, uh, that's why Chris isn't here at the moment. He's because this is so close to him. He's um, yeah, he'll be back in a minute. But thank you ever so much. All of you it seriously mean it from whatever passes for a heart in my Orkin body. <laughs> yeah, possibly the bowels. There's a heart in there. There is. Wow. I'm surprised. I'm shocked. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I didn't tell you. I didn't say what color it is. Yeah. So. Can we talk about WandaVision now? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, John. Are you, do you really want me to talk about WandaVision? <laughs> no. I'll pull myself on mute and you can talk about how good it is. How's that? I'll, oh, I'll John, that. John, John. Oh, d oh. I watched your I watched your reaction, John. So. Oh, so uh so you uh, you feel the complete opposite of how I feel. <laughs> after after I finished with uh with with Lewis and Kiwi Studios and that I I uh, I came off and I looked at I watched Jody's and I watched yours um, to to have a have a look at what the what Jody was very middle which was cool um, yeah. and you were very hype beast so I was like that's that's good <laughs> like it I like the two yeah it's cool I like I get it like some people love this show it's cool like I'm not gonna hate on people that love this show that's yeah. not like that's not what I'm about I, I don't. Like it's, uh, it's neither here nor there for me. I just don't personally, I think that this show is longer than what it should be. And I feel like the last two episodes should have been in the middle of the show rather than towards the end of the, of the show. I just feel like it got way too long to get to this point. Uh, and so the emotional beats didn't work for me, like as much as they were for other people like yourself. Mm -hmm. Like I just was like, yeah, I don't know. Like, Wait, wait, wait. Did you yeah. like the first two uh, episodes, the sitcoms one? Uh, I didn't laugh at any of the sitcom jokes, there, and yeah. I and I found that the the uh, what do they call it? The um, the style of what they were trying to do got old mm -hmm. very fast. Ah, it was like, and yeah. I'm a I'm dude. I'm a fan of I Dream of Genie and Bewitched. Like I love those shows. I watched them as a yeah. kid. Um, but I just feel like the jokes didn't hit. And it was just, it, 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 it's too, like, uh, like I was talking to uh, um, some people afterwards and they're like, if they re-edited this and they just edited down those things and just sort of tightened up the sitcom aspects mm -hmm. and they, and we could make like an hour and a half movie out of this show and like just tightened all of those little parts up and made it a little bit more concise. We could get to the actual meat of the story a lot faster and I feel like the other thing is, I think a lot of people have suffered from what they did with Last Jedi and Snoke, like all these theories. And it's like last night we found out Pietro, not, not from another universe. He was made Pietro. up by Agatha. <laughs> if, yeah, yeah. We're like, uh, Agatha controlled everything. There's no Mephisto. There's no um, uh, demon, um, what is it? Nightmare. Nightmare like Agatha's yeah. doing everything. It's either Agatha or, or Wanda that's created or like taken or killed people. Like that's it. And it's yeah. like, it, we've just found out like basically everything in the one episode that all of the theories, uh, like basically um, Pablo Hidal, your, your, your Agatha theory sucks. Your, your Mephisto <laughs> theory sucks. I, like, think, I think the difference like, with that, like, let's say with the uh, last Jedi with Snoke, like that one, they're building up Snoke to be something like a mysterious threat. And then in last Jedi, oh, nope, you know, they're building it, and then they just toss it out. Supplies. Here. It wasn't yeah. like they're building up. I think we just want to make people it bigger. Did it. We fanboy. We fanboy. Yeah. Yeah. Aeros Aerospace engineer, yeah. Reed Richards. Yeah. Well, I feel like I feel like that's that's the problem with this show, though, is that there was so much not happening in the show that every all these theories like cultivated. Because, like, oh, there's Easter eggs in every episode. Yeah. It's like this show has no rewatchability. Like, if we're really honest, there's no rewatchability. I'll be honest. I'm, I'm going to watch the the, uh, the episode again with her just. Oh yeah, well that well that's your yeah well yeah. that's because something actually happened in the episode. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. like, my point is, is like those first few episodes. It's like it's they're so like for twenty minute episodes. It's like think about it is a good example. The Office when it first started, the American Office. 
it was 20 minute episodes yep. and they felt so long because so much happened in that short space of time. There was so much character development each episode of different characters in the show, right? Especially in season two of the American office in this yep. episode, in this show, we had 20 minutes, like with the 30 minute episode, like 10 minutes of credits or whatever it is. And Five like, minutes, yeah. and the last two to three minutes of those episodes, something actually happened. Whereas the rest of it was the sitcom stick. And it got old very by the third episode. I was like, this is getting old. Come on, do something else. And then, no, no, I can can understand why. uh, Anyways, guys, I'm going to take off. I know I said I'd be here till five, but uh, I'll Uh, go get some things done around the house. And you're talking about a show I know nothing about. So it works. (laughs) There (laughs) you go. I'm out of here. Welcome on any time. Yeah, come hang out. I don't want to hear you. We can go back to Star Trek. There you go. Yeah, no, don't worry about it. I need to get some stuff. I'm going to be all right. All right, David. Okay. All right, David. Later. Take it easy. I think, um, well, I, I, and this, I said this this morning after 20 hours of streaming uh, <laughs> and after watching the episode is as soon as that episode was over, I just got rid of all my expectation. Yeah. Because we kept, like, like we said, we've built up these expectations ourselves. No one else built up these expectations but the fans. Yeah, all these you. Fan, all and these you. fan theories. All <laughs> Kevin Feige said was, "We're gonna see her get the Scarlet Witch name, and it's gonna explain somehow explain the multiverse, which we'll probably get next episode." Um, but he also said that we're not gonna get any closure. You never said anything about us getting closure on this. He said that we would probably not get full explanation on everything until Doctor Strange two. So. Which is now coming I, out after Spider Man. Yeah, which is yeah. now coming out after Spider Man, and so they've just kind of, I mean, the, the pandemic has screwed everything up, and I think like that I want to, I've I've lowered my expectations now after last episode. Do you think, John, that this show is like going to be a necessary watch for something that's happening in the MCU? In the MCU movies, um, I because Lewis is like, think no, that it's if, not. If they would have more of the multiverse stuff, but. I think it's gonna be self-contained. If that hex, if the hex grows bigger, maybe yeah. I want to see that hex just cover the world, the yes, and do something. But I'm not sure what's gonna happen in the one hour or less than one hour for the finale. How exactly. are they gonna explain yeah. the multiverse <laughs> now? Do you think? Yeah, because Kevin Feige has told us that this will have something to do with the multiverse, and so far all we've seen it has something to do with magic. Yeah, uh, I don't know. So, because I still want them to explain J.K. Simmons as J. Jonah Jameson in uh, Far From Home. Yeah, and uh, with the casting news, like uh, Alfred Molina as Doc Ock. And, yeah, yeah, all that stuff. Oh, yeah, all that, all that stuff. stuff. Yeah. Tobey Maguire, so, Andrew Garfield, yeah. Jamie Fox coming back, like all this stuff. Um, I, I think though, what what we could get from multiverse in the last episode is through Agatha's motives. Mm-hmm. So there's been the rumor that Senior Scratchy is connected to her son, the, the rabbit. And so my, my thought could be that she's trying to open up a multiverse somehow or something to try and get her son back or somehow from a different – something happened. Hmm. And she's trying to get through into the multiverse, and she needs Wanda's powers to do it. Or she needs to know how Wanda did what she did. That feels, to I don't bend know, that reality. feels too far fetched to like, oh, my son is some other universe. Not necessarily like, her oh. son, but something, some reason she, like, because again, <laughs> like you said, we haven't seen any multiverse stuff yet, and we're supposed yeah. to, technically. Like, like if there was a tease throughout the season, maybe, but I, I didn't see any tease. So, what's, like, what's, Agatha's, what's Agatha's motive then? That's what we don't really, really know. She, well, she obviously wants came, to be the well, uber witch. That's it. She came, yeah. She came there, like she tells us at the beginning of this last night's episode, that she came there because she saw that Wanda she was doing something. like yes. transmutation, like all these different spells, but all at the same time. Yeah, that's where why she why she got came there because she's like, how are you doing? Like she wanted to know how I want she that was power. doing this, and then she realized she was like a prodigy or whatever. Like at the end, you're all the Scarlet Witch. Whatever that means. Yeah, well, um, you're not supposed to because, exist. What is it? She says you're a creature MCU of legend. Wording, you're not yeah. supposed to exist. Because the Scarlet Witch is what she's called in the comics because yes. she has like red power, but it's like they're making her some more, sort of. More, but I, I like it though. There's like more Master history. Supreme. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's why more, like, I think there might be some iconography to her. Multiverse with those powers. Like she needs yeah. to become have those that those supreme powers. 
to do something with the multiverse and she can't so hey wanda <laughs> and use her kid use the kids who aren't even real uh or we Whoa. don't know well, they'll, be, they, they'll they, be real yeah, now once that hex expands yeah yeah um, my theory is is that agatha's gonna kill those kids and that's when she's gonna go she's and gonna kill snap. agatha yeah she's gonna snap and something's gonna happen oh, yeah, you don't yeah, think yeah. and i think yeah another snap like i think they're gonna try to they tease how agatha kills the uh the coven and her mothers yeah yes. yeah and, and yeah. in the comics there's yeah, a part she, where you see how yeah. Wanda kills Agatha, like kind of yeah, like that yeah. same similar manner. Exactly. So I think she's gonna thing. do that. Absorb her. Yeah. She's trying to absorb. Like, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be the foreshadowing. That's what I Agatha that. tries Dude. to absorb her power and it backfires. Can we talk about this? That wasn't on Star, the R-rated side of Disney. That was yes. on Disney Plus. That what was... happened in like, like the side, like true. even Jody. If anybody's watched Jody's review, he he was creeped the the hell out over that. That was part horrifying. Of, like, he almost <laughs> turned it off. He said. Because it was about the witches disintegrating. <laughs> well, some people take horror. <sighs> that like, was nothing. And witchcraft and stuff were well, like you know other you know people. True, I people see. Like, like religiously, Chris, Chris, Chris has killed many people in his well, life. I don't think it's. <laughs> no, it's well, I don't know if it's a religious thing. I feel like it's like some people are more sensitive to that stuff, and some people are desensitized to it. So a yeah, lot of people yeah. do yeah. like the conjuring, and they're like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, oh yeah, whatever. Yeah, horror movies. I don't really get jump scares from horror movies. And like I mean, Nicole playing horror games. Yes. Or game, yeah. yes. Yeah, well, <laughs> Nicole last night in our in our chat, she was like, "Oh, this feels like Charmed, 1990s." Like she really, <laughs> like oh, one of the oh, Charmed, Charmed. Yeah, I've never one, seen yeah, Charmed, Charmed, but one of the oh, fans, there's one you could uh, do like her... of Lewis yeah. last night. Um, she the original, not the new one. She she was in there and she was just like, "Yeah, this doesn't like when that witch stuff happened." She's like, "This feels like Charmed," and like. I was like, oh, that's harsh. Uh, well, that, is, that is harsh. Have you guys seen Charm? Like the original one, not the, the original one. one. Yeah, yeah, was it 96, 98, something around there? Yeah, yeah. no, because okay, like I'm watching the Vampire Diaries, right? And then you know, it's like, oh, CW teen vampire drama, but that show has some gory stuff. I'm like, yes, wow, yeah, it's yeah. gory as hell. Well, Riverdale has like, some like kind of yeah, Riverdale dark like themes the, as well. Yeah. Like well, Buffy, Buffy. Oh yeah, when, that's true. When yeah. uh, Willow goes like big bad, full X, man, full that X, that, yeah. that goes full witchcraft, like like full like yeah. right down the yeah. the uh, but the I pull whole punches. Occult. Yeah, they go right down the occult line on that one, like. Like last night, I was like, I was just like, oh, this is like, there was no, the, the problem for me was if you had like children watching that you generally were like, oh, that MCU is fine for kids. Oh, yeah, for, yeah. Uh, kids oh, up this yeah point. That, I no, feel like there yeah, wasn't right. any warning to show, like to say, hey, but they've got warnings for the Muppets. Too much. They yeah, have warning the for problem. the Muppets. That's true. Yeah, yeah that's they true. put a warning on the Muppets, man. <laughs> They put them. This content mm. might be not safe for. They like, might be uh, offensive what? to people. It was done in a certain time, like that sort of. What about the rating morning. though? Was it like TV fourteen or? Yeah, I don't know. It just. I, I didn't I chill, feel right? like it was a very intense scene. Like it, it was reminded intense. me of. Like I was like, oh, this is. They gone full witchcraft with this. Oh yeah. Like this with I, this like. That caught me and I was like, <laughs> I was surprised at how far Marvel like was allowed to go on Disney. To be honest. Yeah. Um, with that scene, especially absorbing their souls or whatever the hell she was doing, like sucking their like, this essence, their <laughs> life force. <laughs> I do think the end, though, I will say there was a little bit cheesy. The end part. Oh, don't I say Ag when Agatha floats. When Agatha floats and she's holding <laughs> the guys, it reminded me of Hocus Pocus. I was yes, like, this looks yeah. like Hocus Pocus. Yeah, I, like I, I would agree yeah. with you. That is my gripe with that. Where you get to see Agatha and all of a sudden she just turns full evil. I'm like, yeah. And I'm what? like, and I'm like, she, she changed her makeup with magic. They're, they're, and I was like, like, the evil witch makeup. And yeah. The witch makeup. And yeah. she was fully changed. And I'm like, mm. like come on. I'm like, this reminds me of her. <laughs> like, I just, I just thought of a bet Midler on a broom sucking, like, like sucking the dude's yeah, soul yeah. at the end. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, uh, <laughs> but yeah, <clears throat> it was like, I just feel like the last two episodes, like should have been mid season. Like you know how like John, you would understand this. I was trying to talk about this last night on, on Lewis's show. Yeah. We have like in traditional shows, you had the mid season finale because like people would go on holidays. Yeah. yeah, the yeah. Actors would have their break and then they come back and start filming. And then you have the yeah. finale of the season, right? Yeah. This show didn't have a mid season finale because it's so short, obviously. Yeah. But I feel like they should have wrote in in the same style because we had all this bloat sort of like the the week before last week was like the worst episode because we had 
characters not doing what they would traditionally do. Like we had Vision driving around in, in a truck and he just suddenly yeah. realizes he can just fly. And it's like at the start, when he woke up, wouldn't yeah. he just fly well, back to Wanda? I, I, like I kind of see it as they're ch- still trapped in the hex. So he's yeah, still sort of under her power and yeah, distractions, you know, because he does, he suddenly realizes, hang on, all these things are just stopping me from getting back to her. Yeah, well, it's weird because he immediately wakes Darcy up. That's how that plot plot doesn't make sense to me. You see how mm-hmm. if he's still under the hex, mm-hmm. he wouldn't just immediately wake her up. He still knows something's wrong and people are trapped yeah. in there. And so he yep. wakes her up because she recognized him when he got the, into the external, right, of the hex. So to me, it's like, yeah, no, from that point, he's already woken up anyway. So why don't he just grab her and fly away? Why uh, don't he just steal a truck? He because still, Wanda like, doesn't know doing- yeah, he's still doing a Malcolm in the Middle bit, though. Like, I think I, I, he's like torn. Yeah, they were trapped in like the show yeah. stylization. Yeah. Th- Malcolm yeah. Middle. That one was the like, office, though. Was yeah, the... it was the office. Yeah, or the office. Wanda, yeah, whatever. It Wanda, is, yeah. Vision and that were doing the office, and the um, the kids. And it was Modern Family was like Wanda and the kids. That was Modern Family. Yeah. Like she was doing a bit straight out of Modern Family. Um, but it's like, and then. Yeah, they spent some, they're like, see guys, these are the DVDs she watched as children. That's why she made the hex this way. I'm like, I don't care. Like, we get it. Like, and then they're like, no, but I, I like seeing that. Like, oh, it's it was like memory movie. lane, though. It was like, we already knew that she looked at a Stark bomb for three days, like mm-hmm. with her brother. We learned yeah. that in Ultron. We already know that she got, yeah, but that was like a no, it, showed, it showed also that she possibly, like, did she use yeah, that's powers the only thing. there? Well, as not a possibly, kid? not possibly. She did we, use power. Yeah, she had, no, yeah, yeah they pretty confirmed. much alluded that she was using her powers. Yeah. Okay. Agatha I, says she uses yeah. a like a time hex or something to stop the bomb from going off. Like, so she had the the power, the latent abilities, the, and, as they yeah, call them, the X gene. Yeah. So Just she call it what X-G. it is. Yeah. So <laughs> they, yeah. Which crap? Yeah, I did. Sorry, Jerry, in the chat, I did call that out last night because w- earlier on in the season we were told she broke in and stole Vision's body. They showed that. Um, What's his name? The director. They were just showed a video Hayward. of it, a doctor yeah, video. Yeah, she broke in and she stole Vision's body, and she's reanimated it here. And then you see the actual event, and she walks in, sees him, and then walks off again and leaves his body there. And Vision's not real. We've learned Vision's not real. We've yeah. had that argument yeah. for weeks now. He's, yeah. he's real well, now. I'm she's, one person's told us she, she the stole hex. the body inside the hex. Yes, he only yeah. exists inside the hex. Yeah, but we were Vision told is Vision's real. body was stolen, and then we Made find out it wasn't. Sword. So we have white vision as well. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of stuff happened last night and a lot of like, uh, was way, like the questions that people have made up in their minds were answered as well. I just think they could have got to this a lot faster and it should have been six episodes, not nine. That's what I, I really think. I also think people are mad that their answers aren't the answers. Oh, that's well, what that's, people of course, are really, of course. Well, I don't care. Like, I don't I, care I, I either. Yeah, Afterwards, I, would have hoped, I was like, I, okay, I'm those glad are my that answers. Mephisto isn't in this because he needs to be in a, a in a um in a Ghost Rider movie first if he's going to introduce into the MCU. Agreed. Mephisto or needs to or be in a series. But then we find out, oh, and then we find that Blade is not ready to die. And that's <laughs> just rate Deadpool R and confirm it, but don't don't do blade which has got vampires and like blood sucking in it and you're not gonna have it ah uh, like this is this is yeah but uh, no i think you can do blade without rating it r you cannot uh, categorically it's, it's, cannot it's, do deadpool without rating him r I, well this no, blade's gotta you know, be rated r you can't have a yeah. pg team vampire only because the goriness john yeah. exactly exactly and like this is worrying for me because if they do like midnight suns or something they're going to do like Ghost Rider and they're going to make it not R, but, and then they can't do Mephisto properly because that has a lot of, there's a lot of demonology and stuff in, in Ghost Rider. <laughs> but like that's not is, rated R here. Demonology. That's not rated R here. Demonology well, we don't have R rating not, here. Well, that's what I'm saying. We demonology, though, here. is PG-13 stuff. Like, I mean, that's for, for rated R, it's like a ton of F-bombs, a ton of gory, super violent, sexual stuff sex. as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, but the, like the Blade 2, stuff, we, we're talking about this. Blade 2 was like rated R. But then that, not- that that was like, that was because of the gore factor. Yes, like exactly. Um, And like, I just feel like you can't, like you think that they're gonna like this is this is my thing for you. Like Blade One opens, and they walk. She's she's got some dude. She's taking him into that yeah, club, yeah, going and down then the sprinklers her. start showering blood. No, no, that's the sprinklers start showering blood, 
all over them and then they all turn into vampires and he's like what the hell like yeah. you're never gonna Don't see that the music. In a Disney <laughs> Plus movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> the yeah, yeah. you're never gonna see that plus like uh, i don't know wesley snipes he's blade for me like you're not gonna get well here's the thing i was i mean i can't I mean, see wesley snipes is not well, Bla- is, is is one version of blade and he can pass yeah, the but wesley snipes is gonna be in this apparently yeah, yeah, yeah wesley snipes like, is gonna be in it and he can pass the mantle blade's just a code word uh, a nickname an alias i don't no, know no, if they're no, gonna do just no, a no, code word. No, 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 no. his name's blade like he's yeah. it's a character like you, no no it's I, not I, like I, but he can pass on the no but his he's got an actual name well, the thing that makes Blade unique is that he was, he's like, the yeah, he's a one of a kind. Yes. He's the one of a kind. You can't just pass it on to somebody else. Unless that, unless he mm-hmm. was, unless the writers, unless the writers do something. On. Unless, yeah. unless his, unless that dude's like, whatever. Had a brother. Maharshal Maharshal Ali. 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 Unless his mother, unless the character's mother was also bitten while he was in vitro. And I he mean, was born and half like the fact, human. but, but here's the thing. Yeah. The odds that that did happen again. I mean, why is that so, it, so low odds that. That oh, could have so happened again. They explained well, that. Not a bit Blade funny. Once. Why hadn't it happened in hundreds and very... hundreds of years anyway? Then. Yeah, yeah. He's the first of his kind. He is. The yeah, only I know that, but kind. I'm saying exactly. Mahershala is younger, so who's the first of his kind? So who's to say there can't be a second? Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean younger? Because it should oh, have killed his Wesley mother. Sides? Yeah, because it should have killed his mother. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah he's younger. Yeah. So <laughs> I believe what happened is is that the reason it happens is usually when they feed, they kill the victim anyway. They they snap their yeah. neck or whatever, so they don't. Turn. The mother died. And, yeah. Yeah. Well, no, no, they. She oh, died a nerd in report in the house because yes, she was in the so, middle of giving birth when she got bit, right? No, 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 no. She was bit, and then she went into labor right away. And what the vampires do is they kill people after, so they don't turn. That's yeah. like if they don't want him to turn, they kill him. Like, is that so, what they, they didn't blade? The, I thought it was like a somehow selective. Like, no, th- like they didn't. They, they never fe- really explained that. No, well, no they th- feed on him, if they feed on him and they don't, and they uh-huh. don't like if they leave him alone, they turn. So they got to yeah. snap their neck because mm-hmm. it's uh, like uh, they got to kill him. Like there's so many they, different ways to turn. Uh, turn into. Well, the in the I believe <laughs> yeah. that's the way they do it in the Blade universe. That's how they make yeah. vampires in the Blade universe. Like yeah. they they'll just bite them and then they eventually turn if they if they uh and then they yeah. feed. Um, so it's like I I believe because oh that's right because in the Blade one they have the woman who was bit, and they get and Whistler gives her the anti serum yes. and it stops the virus from thinking. But she would turn if she wasn't like because he she gives it to her to her and it's like. Oh, no, no, wait, that's in Blade 2. They explain it completely because Whistler gets back from a blood vat at the start. Like, yeah. He, he gets him back and they were turning him like and kept like fe- like feeding him as a, an, a, the vampires did yeah. it as an ironic thing to torture yeah. him. Sons of bitches didn't people. fix my leg though. And then, then he gives him the anti-serum and he's like, either you'll turn back to human or you'll die in the daylight. And so, and he ends up turning back to a human at, at the end of the, like in the morning. Like and Blade like rescues him basically in that way. So we learn that you can bring someone back from vampirism in the Blade universe. Um, no, I think bringing them back from the brink once they fully turned, yeah, there's they, no help. Yeah, before they fed. If they yeah. fed, I think you then can't it's complete. Turn it back. It's it's yeah, irreversible. Yeah. yeah. So that's the vampire lore. Of Blade. This was one of my favorite vampire lore, or one of my favorite is Vampire Hunter D, the anime. Yes, oh, I haven't seen that so y- so long. Yeah. Like if it's you get good. turned, you just turn into a zombified vampire. You're not fully there, so not everyone can be oh, a vampire. Did you ever watch The Strain? I haven't seen The Strain. Yeah, uh, the show? No, I've heard though. It's really good. If you like that, dude, uh, that's what I'm gonna say. If you like that sort of vampire, John, watch yeah. The Strain. That is really yeah. good horror vampirism. Like so good and it's a really interesting take too i really like it mm. based on uh i think based on the graphic novel actually or graphic mm. novel series the strain really good really good job is it over so, or is it like a few uh, seasons it's over now there's four seasons all right do a reactor on it man i'm telling you it's great <laughs> it's a really good show there's so many shows i only do a few shows <laughs> what's up lewis because Superman and Lewis, uh, I'm doing that now too. Because the first Superman, Superman and, and Lewis, Lewis. Superman yeah, and Lewis, Lewis, huh? You just said Lewis. Superman, Superman and Lewis. Lewis. Yeah, Lois. Lewis Lecker. <laughs> Superman <laughs> and Lewis Lecker. Superman and Lewis Lecker. <laughs> Super nerd report. So, so we've been going for a couple hours here. 
I think it's a good time to stop with the nerdy verse podcast. Stop the recording here. Uh, we will be staying live, of course. So I'm just going to stop the recording and so that we can clip this for the Nerdyverse podcast. I want to thank John from Nerd Reactor, Paul Halogen Helix for being here. Anything you guys want to plug? Um, Valheim tonight, yeah. <laughs> Valheim Vikings. Paul, hey Dungeon. Oh, uh, just my channel. It's the same as my name. Um, yeah, just doing podcast. Um. Oh, I do want to plug something. So I am starting up a podcast with, um, if people may have seen him on Lewis's channel last night, Tyler, he's uh, from New Zealand. He does, uh, like he's in the film industry and doing film editing instead of just starting out actually. Um, and uh, so I'll be doing like, a, we are still sort of uh, trialing names, but we're going to be doing a podcast, Australian New Zealand podcast. Nice um to uh talk uh like australian new zealand news on movies uh but uh also to talk about film and uh sort of a cool it's going to be like he's like in the in sort of the editing sphere and in the film like does makes films and short films so it's going to be like a uh person outside of the film industry who like reviews movies versus a person who's inside the film industry who review uh, to review movies so we might be doing some old school movies on that as well. Um, I've so, got an yeah. idea for a name. Right, so he's Kiwi. You're Australian, yeah? <laughs> Kiwi he's in Con. the movie game, yeah? Pros yeah. and Convict. <laughs> uh, uh, so funny. Oh, well, you know, but that, that's why people uh, come to this channel. Uh, is my like you, should change your, you should change your name to Imperialist. <laughs> the Imperial, uh, yeah, yeah Imperialist I, 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 I did. I did. Imperialist orc. I love it. Imperialist orc. All right. So I I am Chris Darth Pyron Walker. He is Kev, aka Nuff said, aka Captain Strong. Oh, oh go get another one. Oh. And this has been the Nerdyverse Podcast, and we will be back soon. Later. Later.